the business of buying men's sperm, has been rife in Maranga County, where some women pay up to 300,000 Kenyan shillings to conceive. The most preferred men in the business are the 20 to 40 year olds, but they should be on courses that the women, Miss Independents, consider to be smart. In addition, many women have said they prefer taller and more moderately skinned men, i.e., not, too white or too black. A woman in the town told the nation that these days women who have decided to hold on to their freedom of life do not want the disruption of marriage. And instead we are just looking for seeds to give birth and develop a generation. But in giving birth, we follow the luck of having children with beautiful faces and also a skilled brain to enable them to shine in studies. In this case, the woman who is in the decision-making phase and has reached the phase of pregnancy is sending each other to the task of finding a sperm sperm. The man must agree to be tested for dangerous diseases that are genital and also sexually transmitted. If he passes the test, he must take anti-HIV medication during sex and agree to move in with me so that he doesn't go wandering around and infect me, she said, noting that she was already raising a three-month-old twin, who was born through the same process. The 38-year-old is now married to a 23-year-old medical student who is studying at the University of Nairobi. She gave him 300,000 Kenyan shillings. But when he found out that I had twins, he started demanding an additional 300,000 Kenyan shillings from me. But I told him that we were not selling each other's children, but his job was to sell the ability to conceive regardless of whether I would give birth to one child or even 50 children in one fell swoop, he said. In addition, the man must agree to sign that his contract is for conception but not parenting, and he will lose his relationship with the child and mother after the contract fulfills its purpose. Drive. James Moreithi told Nation Today the irony, is that many women have not understood that the brains of a child are more dependent on the brain of the mother. Those contracts are usually to stop the seed sellers from monitoring their fertility so that the children can identify the father. The women think that the contracts stop the men who have been harvested from the seed from pursuing property under the pretense of marriage, he noted. Thank you for watching City TV Kenya. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share.